Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know I've been gone for quite a minute there. <laughs> um, it definitely feels good to be back. Uh, I guess I should give you just a little bit of update of, you know, why I've been away for so long. So as you guys know, last year I got engaged. Um, this past September, I officially got married. So I'm a married woman now, guys. Ah, I know, it's it's amazing. I'm still even adjusting to the fact that like I'm married. <laughs> I have a husband. Wow. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, so that's why I was gone for so long. Um, my last video went up around May. So pretty much it started getting really, really like, I mean, the months literally started flying by and the planning of the wedding took up my entire life. I had a very, very big wedding. It was me and my husband. So, you know, it was really me mostly <laughs> but I mean every step of the planning every way I mean just everything about it leading up into that day was amazing it was worth it I mean I had the wedding of my dreams and I married the man of my dreams so you know that's why I was gone you know forgive me please <laughs> Um, so then after that, we went on our honeymoon, we went to Greece, it, beautiful, the food, the culture, just the people, everything about it was just absolutely amazing. Um, so, you know, I'm back, but well, we've been back for a while, still in Jersey. Uh, first video back from my hiatus, <laughs> I should do a fall look, I, uh, fall is my favorite season. So I decided to do this burgundy copper halo eye for you guys with some red tones pretty much and I absolutely love it. It's a very simple look. It's not even that hard at all. Um, so without further ado, let's just get into the tutorial so I'm not taking up too much of you guys' time. Uh, I hope you enjoy and I will see you in my next video. Take care. So we're going to start off our priming our eyes with the MAC Painterly Pot and Painterly. And I'm just going to use a brush to apply it and then I'm going to take my finger to blend it out. And then after I'm going to set it with the translucent powder. You can use any translucent powder just so you can blend the eyeshadows better. So today's palette is the Modern Renaissance Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm going to go in with Tempera as an under brow bone, bone highlight. <music> For our first transition color, I'm going to go in with red ochre and make sure to really, really blend this color out. Like I kept blending for a very long time. Next I applied Ruger um, into my crease below red ochre. And the reason why I use this color, as you can tell, it's a little bit lighter is because um, the next color I was going to use is pretty, pretty deep. So I wanted something a tad bit lighter so that way when I use Love Letter, it would blend in really, really well. So since we're doing a halo eye, what I did was I applied Love Letter in the outer V of my eyelid. And then I would apply some in the inner corner and then I would just kind of connect it so that I would leave space in the middle of my lid and that's where I applied the next eyeshadow. So what I did was just keep going back and forth, applying, applying it to the outer corner, connecting it through my crease to the inner corner until I had enough pigmentation. <laughs> Going into my Urban Decay Vice palette, I used the color Lucky, which is a really nice um, golden bronze, a very, very beautiful color, and just I felt like it's a very fall appropriate. And to give it more pigmentation, I decided to wet my brush. Um, I think I used the e.l.f. Mist Spray, and that made the eyeshadow pop even more and give it somewhat of a metallic foil type look to it which I thought was very very pretty and stood out really really nice. I went back in with Love Letter just to blend out the ends of the eyeshadow so that everything was really seamless. So for my gel liner I used the Inglot 77 and I just did you know a basic wing. Um, nothing too crazy because I didn't want to take away from the eye look. <music> Going into the face, I'm going to use the Nivea's Mint After Shave Balm. And to color correct, I'm going to use the LA Pro Concealer in orange. And I just tap this wherever I feel like I have, um, you know, some dark circles just to color that out. Mm -hmm. 
For foundation, I'm gonna go in with Lancome Tint Miracle in the color 540 Suede W. And I really like this foundation because it's lightweight, but it gives you really good coverage and it still has that skin-like finish to it. And I'm just gonna blend everything out using my Beauty Blender. To highlight, I use the LA Pro Concealer in Toffee, and I haven't really used this color before, and I was surprisingly pleased with how well um, the color showed up on my skin. I thought it was really, really pretty, and it actually wasn't too bright. To set my highlight, I use the Black Opal Deluxe Finishing Powder in the color Medium. And this is actually a new um, powder for me. And I really, really love it. Um, I love that it's not so yellow like the Sasha Buttercup because I had some difficulty with that. But this powder, I mean, is simply amazing. And then to set my the rest of my face, I use my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the color Dark Deep. So on my lower lash line with a tapered pencil brush, I'm going to use Love Letter. And I used that all along my bottom lash line and I pulled it out um, to my wing liner to connect it. And then to blend out that color, I then took Red Ochre and then I'm just gonna put Real Girl on top of it to just blend everything out. And I also forgot to put this in the clip, but make sure you apply mascara on your bottom lashes. I forgot to do that, but I did it in the very, very end. For my lip liner, I use the NYX Dark Brown Lip Liner. And then for my lip color, um, I went in with Kat Von D Lolita. Something about it wasn't giving me life, so I felt like, you know, I needed another color. Like it was pretty, but it wasn't what I wanted. So here am I, I'm here thinking like, hmm, what should I do? So I decided to kind of ombre the lips, so I used NYX Lingerie a uh, liquid lipstick in the color lace detail and it kind of gave me what I was looking for you can also pair this up with a darker lip if you like so here's the look I hope you guys enjoy don't forget to like comment and subscribe share tell all your friends you know I'm back like let's get this going see you guys in my next video